everyone. Today I want to talk about eight selfish reasons not to have children. Number one, I value my sleep. I don't want to be awake at night caring for a child that is hungry, has an ear infection, is running a temperature, has an upset stomach, is having nightmares, can't sleep, or wet his bed. I don't want to have to go to the emergency room at 2 a.m. because he's sick, or be unable to sleep because my teenage son is out with his friends that are bad news, or because my daughter is a single mother of two that lives with me and now I have to help take care of her kids because she has to work at night. I want to be able to go to sleep whenever I want, to take a three-hour nap whenever I choose to do so. I can go out and come back late and sleep in the next morning. I can stay out as long as I want and not have to worry that I have to get up at six o'clock in the morning the next day to feed my children. I value my sleep too much to have kids. Reason number two, I value my free time. I do not want kids owning my time. I don't want my life to revolve around children, their activities, their friends, their projects, their schedules, their choices, and their lives. I do not want to spend my days driving to and from school, soccer practice, football games, piano lessons, recitals, or PTA meetings. I do not wish to spend my time selling chocolate bars or Girl Scout cookies. I have no interest going to 20 kids' birthday parties every year. I do not want to spend half my day feeding babies, changing diapers, or cleaning up messes. I want to read a book, go for a walk, talk on the phone, visit a friend, go shopping, go to the movies, go out to a fancy dinner, work on a project, or do whatever the hell I want to do with my time. Reason number three, I value my money. I want to be able to buy myself whatever I want and not have to worry or feel guilty because my kids need new shoes. I don't want to buy these kids a whole bunch of stuff they don't need, but that I bought them because I felt guilty because I have to work all the time. I don't want to have to worry about saving to take them on a vacation every year or pay for their medical bills, school clothes, glasses, braces, uniforms, food, entertainment, college tuition, or buy them a car when they turn 16, or pay for their down payment when they buy a house. Supporting myself is stressful enough. I don't need to add more expenses to my life. Reason number four, I value my sanity. I don't want to tell a kid not to throw food on the floor 350 times before he listens, or to tell him 47 times to not throw a tantrum in the store when I don't buy him what he wants, or have to tell him to do his homework every day for 12 years straight, or have to tell him to clean his room, take out the garbage, or wash the car 83 times before he does it. I don't want to be worrying because my daughter is going out with a loser and frequently misses curfew. I don't want to be stressing now because she's failing three classes and she might not graduate. I don't want to constantly be anxious because one of my teenagers might end up pregnant or getting someone pregnant or worry because they might be doing drugs or because they might do something stupid and end up in jail. I don't want to have to worry if I am being too strict or not strict enough, if I am being overprotective or not protective enough, if I am giving them too much freedom and responsibilities or not enough. I'm exhausted just thinking about this. Number five, I value my space and privacy. One of the things that I enjoy the most is being alone. The older I get, the more I value my privacy. And if I had kids, I would have to be around more and more people instead of less and less. I'm almost hyperventilating just thinking about it. That's how much I dislike the idea. I don't like having strangers in my home, and I know that if I had kids, their friends, classmates, girlfriend, boyfriend, coworkers, etc., would be at my house constantly, eating my food, sitting on my couch, watching my TV, being noisy, making messes, etc. Having kids would put an end to my privacy, and that is something that I am not willing to give up. Number six, I value cleanliness. I've always been a neat freak. 
I like everything organized and clean. Messes give me anxiety and stress, and it puts me in a bad mood. If I had kids, I would probably go crazy. I do not want to spend my days cleaning dirty hands, cleaning up spills, scrubbing floors, repainting walls, washing clothes, wiping tables, chairs, and countertops, putting away toys and shoes, folding clothes, wiping dirty noses, etc. I would be miserable the entire time. So why would I want to do that to myself? Number seven, I value peace and quiet. Fewer things I despise more than listening to babies or children crying. I dislike it so much that if this happens, I will leave a room, leave a party, or leave a store so that I don't have to listen to a child cry. It makes me feel stressed, anxious, sad, and powerless. I don't like it. So if I had kids, I would have to deal with this every day for years because kids cry about everything. They cry if they are hungry, scared, sleepy, tired, hot, cold, sick, bored, anxious, if they need a diaper change, if you are changing their clothes, if you are giving them a bath, if you leave the room, if you take away a toy, if someone else hugs them, if they see a dog, if you are not carrying them when they want you to, if they woke up and they didn't see you right away, if you didn't buy them what they wanted, if you are making them eat their vegetables, if they are reprimanded or grounded, if you didn't let them go play with their friends, and the list goes on and on and on. The idea of having to listen to children cry is good enough reason for me not to have them. Number eight, I value my freedom. I mentioned in my other video the fact that having kids is a form of slavery. I think that life itself is slavery enough to want to add more to it. I don't want someone else to dictate where I can or cannot go, what I can or cannot do, or what I can or cannot buy. I enjoy being the one who makes those choices. Having kids is very limiting in all aspects of life. They require and demand a large amount of time, energy, and money. Besides. You might stay in a crappy marriage just because of your kids. You will now stay out of guilt or obligation, not out of choice. I don't want my life or my decisions to revolve around other people. That is not freedom to me. That is bondage and I despise it. Many people say that having kids is the most rewarding and wonderful experience ever. But they never mention the price that you have to pay. I just don't think that this experience is necessary or worth it. The things I will receive in exchange for the ones I will have to give up is absolutely not worth it. Not for me and not for the child. Okay, you guys, I think that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Talk to you soon. Bye.